all right fam so we are back at it again with another crazy video now <laughs> oh my gosh i don't understand i don't know what's wrong with people I, I i truly don't i don't understand people i don't understand their knowledge i don't understand the way they think i, I get it we're all different but this is crazy okay an entitled immigrant is seeking asylum an entitled immigrant the word entitled and immigrant should not go together that 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 should not go that that should not be put together how can you be an entitled immigrant hit, anyways hit the like button subscribe turn on post notifications let's go ahead and get into this video man this is crazy you were granted asylum here in the u.s are you grateful for that am i uh am i grateful for that i feel more of like i'm kind of entitled to it like i can so so yeah so yeah i wouldn't say say grateful so i'm, I'm really? just like yeah yeah you guys should let me in here so yeah so so you feel entitled to asylum here in this country why um i'm pretty much like a pro-immigrant open border kind of person right so uh, well, why yeah. should we let you in though why why are you feel entitled to come here um, that we should allow you to just come here well i'm kind of uh, like far left socialist and so the philosophy of that is just um help the people who are in need so uh, i think and uh yeah and i fit the criteria for um asylum here and so you're so. not grateful because you feel entitled uh you you could uh, I'm, I'm happy that you guys let me in here so right. grateful uh you, maybe you could use that word sure <laughs> Maybe you can use that word. Uh, what? Maybe you. This is my first time seeing this, y'all. This is this 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 is crazy. Oh man! Like I seen the title, I I just couldn't I, I couldn't picture an entitled immigrant. Usually, when you come across an immigrant, they're grateful. They're 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 like they're they're happy. They're they're grateful that man like America let me in. Like this is amazing. I could better my life. I this man said. I feel like you guys should just let me in. Like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just that guy. Bro, you're not him. You're, you're not him. Like, what makes you in your right mind thinks that, hey, I'm, I should just already be let in. Like, you guys should just let me in anyways. Like, like, who are you, brother? Oh my God. That, that, that's crazy, bro. This is why, we, this is why we need Trump back. This, this is, this is, this is the reason why. I, I see why Trump wanted to do what he wanted to do. Grateful, uh, you, maybe you could use that word, sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is mind blowing. And so were you, <laughs> were you let in under President Trump or Obama administration? Um, I was let in just a few months, like a few months after, yeah, Ob uh, Trump administration. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which um, many people say that the reason why I was there so long is perhaps due to like the pro-Trump, the, the um, anti-immigrant sentiments that Trump created with his administration. So that, that could be a factor. The reason you were where so long? Well, I, I was in uh, jail. Oh, so once so you came here because you were uh, an, uh, an immigrant, you were in jail for a while. Yeah, because that's the horrible thing about the immigration system, which m <laughs> most Americans don't know, is that they treat you as a threat before you prove otherwise. Right. And so you have to basically fight a court case while in jail. Okay. And during that whole court case, you have to be in jail, which is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and, <laughs> How yeah. did they find out you were here? Because you just came in, you flew in, and did you turn yourself in or something? How did they know you were in this country? How did I? Did, how did I just, I just came in completely legally with a passport. And then in the airport, uh, I was just, uh, I didn't think that, if I told them I wanted to immigrate here, um, they would arrest me. And so uh -huh. once I was in the airport, I was like, yeah, yeah, I want to uh, come in here and immigrate. <laughs> yeah, which is very weird because if I effectively sneaked in past the customs and then I applied for asylum, I wouldn't be sent to jail. Right. But since I told them right at the airport, then, you know, they had, I had to spend the time in jail and wait for my court case to finish, then go out. So it's a pretty horrible immigration system. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so uh, how long were you in jail here? Um, how, how long? Uh, 11 months. 
Really? <laughs> Horrible, yeah. Wow. Very ironic that I spent longer time in jail here than in Singapore. Though, though the, the um, quality of the jails here were better. So. And so yeah. what, what were you doing while in jail? Just make, making the best time I could, like um, exploring the people, yeah. talking to the jail people, uh, learning chess. I spent a lot of time learning about chess. So. <laughs> and so are you going to stay here or are they going to grant you citizenship? Um, in, yeah, maybe in like a five, t uh, ten years. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So you lived in Chicago for a while. You were in jail in Chicago, I mean Illinois, and you lived there. How do you like L.A. compared to Chicago? L.A. seems more my kind of people, I think. The, the people in L.A. seem more entrepreneurial, diverse, creative, and also it's m much more uh, left-wing in L.A., I think. Oh, yeah, Chicago it is. Pretty, yeah. It is. So, yeah, I think people are more my kind of vibe. And also, like, the scenery, it seems, uh, it's, it seems better. Nice palm trees and stuff. How are you yeah. taking care of yourself? Do you have a job? Do I have a job? Um, I'm pretty much uh, money from YouTube and online donations. Money from YouTube and all that, don't it? Yeah, really? it made just enough to you know, pay rent and food. Oh, so you have an apartment and everything, and you made your money from YouTube? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Isn't yeah, like just, just enough. I wish I ha had more money. You, know, <laughs> you can't do that in Singapore. Uh, oh, I was doing that in Singapore. You're paying your own rent from YouTube? Uh, oh, in, in Singapore, it's, it's, uh, it's free rent because, you know, parents are there. So. Oh, I see, yeah. <laughs> so what do you think of uh, Donald Trump uh, immigration policy? I know you just said it's bad, but what do you think of President Trump's immigration policies? Oh, yeah, they're horrible. And, and I mean, yeah, basically it's been all anti-immigrant deport, lots of mass deportations uh, preventing people from coming in. Yeah, I think it's uh, absolutely horrible. Um, and, and do you think that we should allow illegal aliens to just come into our country? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that, that's, that's the... Bro, what is going on, bro? I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to sit here. I'm, try, I'm, try, I'm trying my best. It, what? You think that we should just allow you people just to walk right into our country? Just whoop de whoop de whoop de whoop Y'all could be a whole threat and we just come on in. Come on in. Like, make it make sense. Like... Yeah, you're worse than the LGBT community, bro. Like, yeah, make it make sense. Just have some, just have some common sense. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh man, I'm gonna have a heart attack messing with you people, bro. Um, very bad thing. Um, they say that um, you know, you let people from more dangerous countries come in, it increases the crime rate, and that's the thing. Like, what? Zero point one percent of the people who come in, um are actually a threat and they increase the crime rate, but 99.9% .9 of the people, the illegal people who come in, they benefit the economy, they lead a much more better life than they did in, in other countries. So I think there's a far bigger net benefit to letting these immigrants in. But they don't and enhance the country. They come in and they drain the system. They rely on the government for free houses, free food, free education, free everything. So you have illegals coming into your country and you don't know who they are. You have criminals and drug dealers and drugs and all kinds of MS-13 gang members coming in. Why should we allow that into our country? The bad people who don't contribute, who rape and do crimes or whatever, is a very small percentage. But how do you know that? How do I know that? Yes. Um, stats and like general common sense, I think. Well, are you saying that what majority of the illegal people who come in are dangerous, yes. bad people? Yes, absolutely. No, I, I don't think that's true. No, 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 it's absolutely true. How, how, how is it true? They, uh, like that? Oh, just the other day, a drunk driver, uh, illegal from um, El Salvador or somewhere. Ah, you see, that's the thing. You guys always like take these um, anecdotal stories uh -huh. and you all make it seem like these small, uh, isolated cases represents a huge immigration problem when they just make up like 0.1% of the people who come in here. Whereas 90- Bro, where are you getting your stats from, bro? Like, like just, just show me where the stats, you really telling me, you're, you're sitting here telling me that half, majority of the people that come into this country, you're really telling me that majority of them are people who absolutely, you know, they're trying to live a better life, they're trying to do this, they're getting their stuff together, like, do like do you like what is your stats, bro? Like zero point one percent, you're telling me are dangerous. Zero point one percent, one percent of all the immigrants in this freaking country is dangerous. That don't even make common sense. That that, that don't even make. 
Holy, holy Jesus. Okay. 89% of the illegal immigrants, they're all benefiting the economy and leading a good, better life not. that they have here. They're not, so. they're not good workers or anything. Well, I think that especially in LA, there are like many. I'm sorry. Especially in, in LA, there are like many jobs where um, immigrants like do and provide that generally benefits the economy, especially in LA, because. So well, yeah. <laughs> most of them send their monies back to the country that countries that they came from. Even if that were true, uh, I, I don't see a much big problem with that. So yeah, I, I don't look at it in a way that um, okay. I look at it in a way that uh, you let immigrants in, you manage to help more people in the world, as opposed to just thinking about yourself. Well, we do in let country. them in. We let them come into the front door, mm -hmm. and uh, not the wide open door, and just walk across the border. Uh, so they do come in, but we need to put. Them. Are you for the wall around the borders? President Trump is going to oh. put up a big, beautiful wall. Oh no, it's ridiculous! Just a complete waste of money. So, <laughs> yeah, you're pro Trump for the wall. One hundred percent. Huh. Big, okay. And I want it to be big and beautiful and a white wall. Interesting. Okay. Bro, okay. I'm going to stop it right there. I, 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 bro, I cannot take Jesse Lee Pearson. Like, bro, he is hilarious. I want to be a big, beautiful, and a white wall, bro. He, I promise you, the man is hilarious, bro. He is a troll. I, he is a troll, bro. But no, let's talk about this real quick. First of all, I, I just want to say something. Like like I said, this was my first time reacting to the video. And when I see entitled immigrant, I couldn't even picture how can someone be an immigrant coming into a country and be entitled. That just don't make logical sense. But no, apparently you can be entitled immigrant. The fact that you think that we should sit here and let you illegal aliens come into this country don't know what don't know don't know what like what type of timing y'all want we don't know if you're dangerous we know we you think we just should let y'all slip right on in that is so stupid bro that is ridiculous that, that is honestly ridiculous bro that's why i said we need trump back we truly need Trump. i see why trump wanted to do what he wanted to do with his immigration policies because we have people like this who are entitled who think we're just supposed to come on in brother come on in. you think you you say that first of all it's actually right that you that you're supposed to stand for your country i understand that it may seem selfish to you but it's actually right that you're supposed to stand for your country people in other countries need to fight for their country at the end man, come on man i'm saying a word right now bro. i feel like i'm on a sermon People in their countries need to fight for their countries, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are sitting here as Americans trying to fight for this country, trying to make this country the best that it could be. I know some people in America who's born in America who don't care about America, but a lot of us, I'm not going to say majority because I don't know the percentage, but a lot of us are really want, we really want this country to be the best. Well, it is the best country. It is by far. It is the best country, but we want it to be better than where it's at. You know what I'm saying? We want this country to reach its full potential. You know what I'm saying? That's what we really want. You know what I'm saying? America is blessed, bro. God bless that's America, bro. You feel me? But every other country, bro, y'all need to fight for y'all country. You really, it may sound selfish to you, but bro, no, we sit over here, we fight for our country. We don't want to let any immigrants, any illegal people that's not from America into this country, and then they come in and they threaten this country. Now we have all these different people. Now we're going to war. Now we got people dying. Now we got innocent mamas dying. Like, we don't want that, bro. We truly don't want that the way that y'all have these people coming into y'all country and doing what they all do. You feel me? Like, we don't want that for our country. So at the end of the day, we're going to continue to to, and I and, and I hope that the immigration policy stands. I hope that it does stand. Like the man would say he was in jail for 11 months. I don't think that's ridiculous. I, I personally don't think that's ridiculous. Well, how, how do we, we, you have to prove that you're not a threat. You have to prove that you're not coming over here trying to spy on us and trying to get our little secret. And you got to prove to that. Like this is real life, bro. This is not a video game. And the fact that you're entitled to think that, oh, oh, you're supposed to let me in. Oh, I just think that this is stupid. It may be stupid to you, but how, but at the end of the day, this is not stupid to us. Like, bro, this is our lives too. You feel me? This, we, America, we have to be for the people. And we have to. I know our president, he don't care. He, he want to let everybody in. Let everybody in. Come on. All the Hispanics, everybody. Like, I'm not against any race, but I'm just saying, bro, we have to stand and fight for this country. That's what we have to do. You know what I'm saying? We have to stand and fight for this country. So at the end of the day, that's just how I think about it, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Am I wrong? Am I right? I don't know. I know. I, I, I'm right. I, I believe I'm right. You feel me? But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. It's been your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.